There are a number of luxury brands that have already released their fair share of NFTs. Coca-Cola sold NFTs to benefit Special Olympics International, and Nike was right behind them, releasing their crypto kicks hardly a year later. Porsche may be a bit late to the party, but you know what they say, better late than never. In this video, we'll be looking at Porsche and its entrance to the NFT world, so stay tuned. First up, Porsche has announced its first Web3 project by NFT Collection. Over the last two years, legacy brands have started embracing the world of NFTs, and a number of them have released their own non-fungible tokens. Even the likes of Coca-Cola, Nike, and Gucci are experimenting with the new industry. It was only a matter of time before other companies and brands joined in, and Porsche finally decided to make its move and enter the world of Web3. Whether it will experiment further will depend on the first NFT that it'll be releasing in January 2023. It is a 7,500-piece NFT collection created by Hamburg designer and 3D artist Patrick Vogel and heavily based on the classic Porsche 911. After they bought an NFT, holders will be able to shape the design of their purchases. In other words, they'll be able to choose a route for the token, and they'll have the choice between performance, lifestyle, and heritage. Each of these three routes represents an important aspect of the luxury brand's premium identity and will shape the character and design of the NFT. Now, Patrick is still working on the design of the NFTs. He does have an aim in mind, though. In the following months, he will will, with the input given by the user after the initial sale, prepare each and every NFT bought as a special asset in Unreal Engine 5. This type of virtual brand presentation can be pretty beneficial for a company like Porsche, and they're aware of that. Their ultimate goal, however, is to expand the company's range and appeal to encompass coveted artifacts in the virtual world. Let's take a look at how the luxury brand will be digging deeper into the digital world. Porsche's manager of innovation, Lars Kramer, while talking about the aesthetic of the 3D visuals mentioned the steps they were taking to complete their goal. He said that his team drew on typical Porsche elements, modern lifestyle, and Porsche's heritage to put together a set of different layers in a token-gated and exciting journey. He also emphasized how the brand had given the NFT owners some freedom so that they could add a bit of their style and situational mood into the visualization. Not only will the owners be able to shape the aesthetic of their purchase, but they'll also get exclusive access to unique experiences both in the real and digital world. But we all know, once a luxury brand starts digging into a world like this, they aren't going to stop. After all, isn't Gucci regularly experimenting with Web3 in every possible way? So it's no surprise Porsche has already started talks on what they'll do after the release of their first Web3. Lutz Mask, the deputy chairman of Porsche and member of the executive board for finance and IT, said that the company is already committed to the digital world, and their Web3 team has been given the freedom to develop innovation in other dimensions as well. And well, it's safe to say that Porsche fans have a lot more to look forward to than just January. The company is also working on blockchain technologies and looking to integrate them into its future and existing processes. Now for it, Porsche will be making an appearance at the Art Basel Miami. Porsche executives said that they might end up moving its purchasing experience and supply chain to Web3 too, as the brand's innovation management team saw promise in the strategy. But that leaves us with the question of how exactly they will execute this strategy. If recent problems with the crypto and NFT industry have shown us anything, it's that keeping a digital market stable is an incredibly hard job. Still, if there's anything that can pull this off without any fear of loss or collapse, it's a luxury brand that attracts rich people. Porsche has decided to host a panel on the 30th of November at the NFT Now and Mana Commons The Gateway, a Web3 metropolis. The five-day festival will take place during Art Basel, Miami. Apparently, this this festival will be a big step in promoting its new NFT and also a good way for them to dive deeper into the rest of its Web3 efforts. And to achieve this, Vex, one of the most successful visual artists on social media, will join the Porsche team to discuss their entrance into the Web3 world. Other than the Gateway 2022 at Art Basel Miami 2022, the luxury brand will also be unveiling an exclusive art installation. The Chris LeBroy physical sculpture Dream Big will be on display at the Perez Art Museum Miami from the 29th of November until the 3rd of December. 
November. This planned installation, categorized under Porsche's The Art of Dreams campaign, will serve as the campaign's official U.S. debut. Finally, how Web3 is a new kind of connection. Most brands usually focus on improving their engagement metrics on social media while operating under Web2 frameworks. They achieve this by making content that appeals to the masses, basically content that's got the main objective of driving as much engagement as possible from the users online. Porsche's director of brand management and partnerships, Dennis Keskin, noted that Web3 offers a way for the company to give their customers great digital experiences. Not only that, NFTs and other Web3 technologies expand the creative process and allow brands to co-create with their customers. This helps the brands to provide more unique experiences to them. Dennis said that venturing into new areas has always been the spirit of their brand, and they're excited to enter Web3 with their first collection of NFTs. He also said that their objective is to make an extension of their brand in a completely digital environment, and ideally, for them to make new quote-unquote friends along the way. Now moving on to Blur capturing market share among NFT aggregators. First up, new marketplace Blur captures marketplace among NFT aggregators. Not long after its launch, Blur attained around 90% volume market share on the 31st of October this year. They outperformed their competitors, such as Genie and Gem, and have continuously dominated the market for the entire month of November as well. Blurio is a new NFT marketplace that targets NFT power users and experienced traders. What's more, it offers offers an aggregation feature and portfolio analytics with no marketplace fees. Now, Blur has many well-known investors such as Paradigm, Cosimo Medici, Zeneca, and others. These investors have helped the business in charge of the Blur NFT marketplace, raising 11 million bucks in total. The team that runs it also has some super talented developers from many different backgrounds like MIT, Twitch, Citadel, and others. Next up, Blur surpassed OpenSea's Ethereum volume during Thanksgiving weekend. The the platform was in closed beta for almost a year before it went live on the 19th of October 2022. Blur also made an announcement that care packages will be given to users who traded on the platform in the previous six months. This also includes an unknown amount of Blur tokens. The marketplace has constantly been expanding in terms of daily sales counts, the volume of Ethereum, and unique users. In fact, for a short time during Thanksgiving weekend, Blur even managed to surpass OpenSea's 38.9% volume with its own 40.3% volume market share on Ethereum. This dominance in market share is probably a result of the announcement that a second airdrop will distribute even bigger care packages than the first airdrop to users who list and trade on the platform in November. The users who list more NFTs will be given more airdrops. What's more, the traders who set royalties higher than 0.5% will be given an airdrop much better than the users who just set royalties to 0.5% or 0%. Lastly, can experienced traders floor sweep faster using Blur. The Blur NFT marketplace fuses an aggregator with a marketplace. This allows users to simultaneously study and buy many NFTs from several marketplaces through aggregators. Out of its competitors, Genie and Gem, the latter was bought by OpenSea in April. Both the marketplace and aggregate service are meant mainly for professional traders and traders who often floor sweep, which is to buy all NFTs at their floor price. This involves acquiring many many NFTs in one transaction, and whales and experienced traders usually do this before the expected significant momentum of a project. And if this is to be carried out swiftly, they must buy NFTs in bulk. Not to mention, a high transaction speed is important for a fee reduction. Until now, there's been no thorough comparison of the various NFT aggregators that Blur is a part of. Though, according to data from transactions in the private phase, the company claimed that the speed of their transactions was 10 times faster than the ones on GEM. Besides, as per a recent tweet analysis, they are the top volume aggregator. That's a wrap for this video. What do you think about the soon-to-be-released Porsche NFTs? Are you looking forward to buying them? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.